Il principale obiettivo de, di questo convegno è quello di fare il punto sulle vaccinazioni nell'anziano e su come si possa fare un'azione di promozione delle vaccinazioni durante tutto l'arco della vita. Ci sono delle raccomandazioni molto forti e decise in tutti i paesi europei eh, per quanto riguarda le vaccinazioni nell'età infantile e fino all'adolescenza. Mancano delle raccomandazioni forti sulla necessità, sull'opportunità di continuare invece la vaccinazione anche nell'età adulta e nell'età anziana. We know quite well that vaccine preventable disease in the old person are always one main problem. This kind of disease killed numbers and numbers of all people in Europe. For example, flu between 40,000 to 220,000 persons died every year from flu pandemics in Europe. We know how to fight against this kind of preventable disease and we need to give them the best answer. In Europe and as well in the United States, flu influenza, for example, is something which is still consider as a benign disease for everybody, I would say. I would say. Uh, but uh, when you work in hospital as an healthcare worker, of course, influenza for children, it's still uh, a very benign disease, but for all the population, it's a very, very huge uh, d disease and with a lot of impact in terms of death, in terms of disability associated uh, with influenza. Herpes zoster is common and the older we are, the more severe it tends to be and there is an associated complication rate of which the most common complication is post-hepatic neuralgia. Post-hepatic neuralgia is a pain which may persist for weeks, months or even years, sometimes the remainder of a patient's life. And there is considerable suffering associated with it and a considerable reduction in self-efficacy which makes it a priority to try and encourage healthy ageing to prevent herpes zoster. It is only by having the data available that we can then report to practitioners on how they are performing and who is high performers and low performers. So data-driven performance I think is a key feature, holding the clinicians accountable for how they manage increasing vaccine uptake. A second part is how we do public messaging. In Europe, the number of negative messages that come to us through regular media is much higher than the positive messages that support the uptake of vaccines, and we are looking for ways to systematically counter those at the time they come out rather than letting them brew and folks uh, take credence in what those negative messages usually carry which is uh, what we would call a false, uh, false information or, if you like modern political terms, fake news. The third piece has to do with producing information that makes vaccine uptake part of lifestyle changes that are part of healthy living. I think there's a cultural change that happens also to occur with clinical providers where they all also consistently believe the same thing that we, the proponents of vaccination, agree with. Le malattie infettive sono state per lungo tempo appannaggio dell'interesse dei pediatri. In realtà la vaccinazione ha radicalmente cambiato il pattern. Eh, ormai nel, nei primi anni di vita gran parte del, dell'impatto delle malattie infettive è, si è gra grandemente ridotto e invece l'aumento della cronicità, della fragilità ha fatto sì che l'incidenza e l'impatto delle malattie infettive dell'anziano aumentassero moltissimo. Sicuramente i vaccini ci possono dare una grande mano per ridurre questo impatto. We have to focus on the life course program on vaccine, starting at school to have mandatory uh, vaccination to enter in school. You have to have the healthcare professional vaccinated before being employees in any healthcare institution. You need to have the nursing home patient systematically vaccinated. We need to have more engagement in this kind of vaccine to prevent the vaccine preventable disease. 
questo convegno che è stato promosso dalla Società Europea di Geriatria ha proprio l'obiettivo di trovare un accordo tra le principali eh, società scientifiche per presentare delle raccomandazioni ai vari paesi, ai governi eh, dei vari paesi europei che portino a superare questo scetticismo che c'è nei confronti delle vaccinazioni anche nell'anziano e eh, che finalmente possano appunto trovare una eh, realizzazione in tutti i paesi membri.